To me, an educated person is a person who questions everything, who doesn't accept any received wisdoms. An educated person will, will challenge every certainty. I grew up in the southeast coast of Ireland, a little town called Tremor. I went to the local Catholic school, although all the schools were Catholic in those days. Our teachers were largely nuns, although there, there were some lay teachers. I once asked my father what his ambition for his four daughters was, and he thought about it for a while, and he hadn't, clearly hadn't thought about it previously. He thought about his ambitions for his sons, but not for his daughters. And he said, well, that at least one enter the convent and none end up on the shelf, meaning unmarried. So the ambition for girls like me was that we get married, and there really maybe the very brainy ones became teachers. Just given my personality, that was never going to be enough for me. I, much as I loved my family, much as I loved the town I grew up in, I always wanted out and I felt it was too small for me. I ultimately felt Ireland was too small for me. I never set out to be Vice Chancellor of the University of Oxford or indeed of St Andrews or, or indeed a Harvard professor. Um, my career wasn't planned in that way. It was a case of seeing opportunities and going for them and then being delighted and always slightly surprised uh, when things worked out. Being appointed Vice-Chancellor of the University of Oxford is the most extraordinary privilege, especially being the first woman in this role. Um, I may even be the first Irish person in this role, but to have been given the mandate to lead this organisation is uh, a privilege that I, I will never be able to surpass, I think. I think universities are, are critical for the development of a state and for a state like Israel with so many immigrants, I see universities as, as um, engines of social mobility and as ways to integrate newcomers into society, into the, uh, into the values of Israeli society. And I think it's wonderful to see new universities emerge, emerge quickly uh, and start to challenge uh, institutions like ours, which have been around a long time. I've been to Israel a number of times. I am a political scientist by academic training. And as a political scientist, I work on political violence. My expertise was on terrorism. So I had, over the years, many friends in Israeli universities who, who worked in this field. And it's, it's an extraordinary country. And what Israel has managed to achieve in a very short period of time is, is an inspiration, really.